We got a whole pack of coyotes right here. Look at them all. Look at all the coyotes. All right, here we go. We're going to take this one. Hello everyone, today we're back out here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and we have with us the 12-gauge Caversham loaded with some buckshot. Now over here by Chopeka Canyon and we're going to be looking for some, well probably black tail, white tail, and maybe even some coyotes. Now we actually tried this out before on some Roosevelt elk and we noticed that the buckshot had some pretty good penetration. We managed to get vitals at about 30-35 meters on this uh, Kyle elk. That might have only been one shot. We might have actually got spine on that, and I think that's why it went down. Normally, you can have a fiber optic sight at the end of this, but for some reason, our sight is not lighting up. So anyways, we're just going to have to go with the rustic silver sight for now. All right, guys, so we just tracked down a pretty big blacktail buck. You can just see his rack sticking up right there. Now, this has been quite an adventure. I've been trying to call him in, but he doesn't seem to want to even slow down. Finally, I spotted him cutting across way up here in front of this lake. Luckily because I was tracking him and we were like maybe three, 400 meters behind him. He kept staying way ahead of us. But I popped up ahead and I looked and I saw this deer and I think he's coming in right now. Yeah, there he is. All right, so we got a really good hit on him. But that's not even the right one. Oh, there's our buck right there. We shot the wrong one, guys. 157 to 210 on him. That's a giant buck. A four easy. All right, tell you what. Luckily, we have the 270. Actually, we have the 243 on us. <sighs> Can't believe we shot the wrong one. But at least, like I said, we do have the 243, so we can still get him. He's definitely a diamond potential blacktail. I don't want to mess this up. So we got him right there at 88 meters. Pretty broadside. We might have to go for a 243 shot on this guy. Just because he's so big. It's a bad angle. Come on, get over a little bit. Perfect shot, he just went down. And I think we just got ourselves a giant blacktail buck. At least I didn't see him take off anywhere. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna mark about where he was. And we're gonna go down and track this blacktail that we just shot with the uh, buckshot here. It says flesh wound, but it should bring this one down. If not, we might have to put another hit into this one as well. I don't want to risk this one messing up our chance for that one to be a huge blacktail. See, I thought, yeah, you can see we have 50% health already on this uh, third track. I really wish we would have gotten the right one in the first place, but what are you going to do? When you have two bucks coming in, you don't know which one's the right one. He's got to take a shot. So you can see we're already at 25% health here on maybe like the sixth or seventh track. So, the buckshot is doing some pretty good damage. Nice. So, let's grab this buck quick. Then we're going to head back over and go check out that huge blacktail that we... Uh, I'm pretty sure we just dropped him at least. 103. Look at the damage on this. 19 meters and you can see it did some pretty good damage. It didn't quite have enough penetration to bust through and hit anything solid from that angle. But, that's alright. We need to get back over here now and go try and find that big blacktail that we just got. Alright guys, look at this. Look at this. He's laying down here just pretty as a picture. Awesome buck. I'm so happy that we dropped him. He's probably going to be the biggest one uh, so far. I bet he's going to be close to 170 plus. Not 100% sure, but he looked really big and he was really smart. He was way out in the front. And we finally caught up to him. Like I said, luckily we caught a glimpse of him cutting across way up here by the front of this lake. But look at the rack on this buck. Alright, well let's pick him up. He scores gold, 165. We made a spine shot on him, hit a little bit further back, but actually that's all we could really see of him because you could see he was in the brush. He was quartering really, really hard, almost all the way quartering away. 
and we took that angle and we made a perfect shot considering that's all we could really see. Total score of 893, so he was pretty close to a diamond, not too far away, but look at the rack on him. This is my biggest gold blacktail by far. I know the other one that we got was a 170 plus, but that was silver, so this is my biggest gold blacktail. I would have liked to get him with the 12 gauge buckshot, but hey, I'm not going to pass him up, and especially if he's diamond potential. So, at least we got him. We got 1,072 cash and 248 XP. Total score of 893. Alright guys, so we have a bunch of blacktail does coming in. I think there's six or seven of them right here. They're all about 60, 70 meters out. We want them to come a little bit closer. Either that or we're going to try and get a little bit closer and take one good shot. It would be cool if we could get two of them. I don't know. We could try two of them, I guess. But it might be a little bit too risky. If that one steps forward a little bit more. Drill both of them. That one dropped. That one dropped completely. And I think that other one got hit really good as well. That was awesome. I'm not sure if that other one's going to go down. Actually, I think the other one we hit even better. The other one, this one here, I think we hit more towards the intestine. The one that dropped, we hit right in the skull. So that worked out really good. Really good blood from this one here. Let's pick it up. So this one we actually heart shot. I don't know. So this must have been the one that was in front. But I thought we were going for neck on it. It was 59.9 meters. So actually we were zeroed in for 50. And what happened is it dropped so much that it hit perfect right into the heart. And dropped this one. We got 933 cash for it and 149 XP. We'll have to find out as soon as we check this next blood track. It might have been just a little bit too far considering we should have held a little bit higher. We reserved him for 50 and it dropped just a little bit which helped out on that one but the other one I think we hit a little bit too low and probably caught it somewhere in the hind quarter. Might have to put a follow up shot on this guy. Could hardly even see it but I believe we hit it at least once. Uh, yeah, that's some good blood. Really good blood. So we just made a really nice shot on it. Couldn't even hardly see it. Got a non-vital hit on it. So I believe we hit intestine. And it should go down rather quickly. We have 0% health already on the second track here. So luckily we followed it up and put a second hit on it. So if you shoot past 50 meters, you better make a perfect shot. Otherwise, it's not going to go down. Definitely if you hit a moose or an elk, it's not going to go down. Yep, you can see, look how low we hit. That's how low we actually hit with that first shot. It went, um, it's hard to see which shot we actually took, but it would have been these. No, this was a shot on the run. So it was this shot right here. Only one shot, it went straight low. Okay, we just got a call from a coyote. I would like to get... Ooh, and a big white tail buck track too. Also, we need to reload our shotgun. That's the thing with this uh, over under shotgun, you always need to reload it because every time you take a shot, it doesn't reload. All right, well the coyote didn't come in so we decided to track down the white tail buck. Now I hear something coming in right now but I don't know if it's the buck or if it's a different uh, black tail doe. Oh, I can actually see it right there. I believe it is the buck. So we'll get ready on him. He doesn't look that big, but perfect for the buckshot. I can hear a doe next to us as well. Well, apparently it was just a doe, but either way we dropped her. Perfect shot on her. And the other two snuck in on the backside. I wasn't quite ready enough for them. Didn't feel like taking a flesh hit on them. So at least we got this doe here. So let's go over here and go pick her up. That was about a 20, 25 meter shot and it went perfect. I believe we got spine and lung on her. Let's check. Yeah, we got uh, right lung, liver and stomach, and flesh. All from that shot there at 20 meters. So 20 meters is majorly effective with the buckshot. All right, well, apparently I was right. He didn't look that big, and he's not. But he's coming in really nicely, so we're going to get ready with the buckshot here. Yeah, he's coming in really fast now. We're going to sit here underneath this tree. And we'll kind of walk forward a little bit and make a little path. Then we can back up. That way when he comes in, we'll be able to see him coming in. Let's see how far he actually is right there. 
Oh yeah, he's 50 meters. He's pretty much in range, so we're going to get ready on him. As soon as he turns a little bit, we could definitely take that shot. You don't want to take a straight on shot like that with a buckshot. Most likely you're only going to get flesh wound. But if he turns a little bit, we could definitely get a uh, vital hit on him. Yeah, he's about 30 meters away right now. I think that'll work right about there. So that was only a flesh hit, even though he was about 10 meters away because he was facing straight at us. And it's really hard to get that kind of penetration to go through and get vitals at that angle. But he will go down. It was definitely a solid hit. So you see it says flesh wound, but this next track here should say close to uh, 75, 50% health. All right, so what we did was we actually lost blood over there and pretty much ran in a straight line about 150 to 200 meters away from the last blood and we picked up some more blood here and this percentage is at 0 to 25 percent so that means it should be down just up here but it ran quite a bit further than I thought it was going to especially with that solid of a hit at maybe 10 or 15 meters right to the chest uh, I don't know what that I think that was a cow moose I did not even see her I would looks like a couple of cows I would kind of like to be able to see what this would do. Okay, our buck's down right here. I would really like to be able to see what this will do to a cow. I know it will take down a cow elk, but I don't know what it's going to do to a cow moose. So if she came this direction, I would like to see if we could take a shot on her. Alright, so she just took off. That's alright. Let's pick up this buck. You can see the shot was 17.9 meters, and we have a 0% click kill bonus. Went straight to the heart, but you can't get that penetration from the front. It's almost the same as the 357. The 357 with the hollow points won't even bring them down if you get a flesh hit. So the best option would be to get a quartering away or slightly angled towards your shot, and that way you can get at least one vital from the hit. Alright, so we have a cow moose right here, and I believe there's a bull right behind her. Yep, right there you can see the cattle on his rack sticking out right through the brush. So... If one of these comes in, I would like to be able to take a broadside shot on them. I'm not sure if that's going to work out or how it's going to work out, but I really want to see if it's capable of bringing down a cow moose or a bull. So I think we're just going to hang out here, even though the wind's blowing right at them, so it's not really a good situation. I don't know if we get any closer. Yeah, I think this will work. I think we're going to go prone. Look at all the moose coming. It's actually not a bad bull right there. All right, here we go. Perfect. Come on, stop. Okay, that was perfect. We got vital hit. We went for a spine lung shot, and I think we definitely made it happen. Vital hit. So we managed to get vital hit at about, well, she was maybe 10 or 12 meters away from us. Really close. But the fact that we we're able to get vitals on her is pretty awesome. I wasn't sure if we would even be able to get that. I thought we would only get maybe non-vital hit. All right, well, she didn't go as far as I thought, so we hit her right here. She maybe ran four or 500 meters, and she's down right here. So that was pretty good, but I do imagine we probably hit spine and lung on that shot, so we're going to check here in just a second to see where we did actually hit. So let's pick her up. All right, let's see. So it's showing that we only hit flesh. Apparently, we hit a little bit too low of the spine, even though we reserved it. No, that one definitely hit spine. This one definitely would have hit spine right there. So it didn't quite have enough penetration to get spine at 11.79 meters. But it did get right lung. We managed to get right lung. So that's interesting how we got right lung at that angle. Uh, I guess because it was quartering so much did we missed the intestine. It didn't quite have enough penetration to get through. Alright guys, look at this. We got a whole pack of coyotes right here. Look at them all. Look at all the coyotes. Female, female. Nice medium male. Another medium male. Bunch of coyotes four easy. I really wish we would be able to lure them back in and see if we can't get them to come into the call. That was awesome. So we were just tracking a nice pack of coyotes and uh, looked off ahead and you could see the whole pack of them trotting off in the distance over here. We have a really good wind so I'm hoping that we can maybe lure them in over here by this pine tree if we're lucky enough. He's right there at 25 meters. I don't even know if that's the right one but we're going to go for a shot. Oh, maybe we're going to wait. Maybe we're going to wait. Oh, no. We probably should have taken a shot. 
Although a bunch of coyotes are coming out right now. All right, here we go. We're going to take this one. Got two of them. Nice. We got a double. I think we dropped that one. And I didn't even realize the rest of them were so close to us. So either we hit that one twice or we got two of them. I would imagine we got two of them though because some really good blood here and some blood here but yeah is that the same one uh nope that's a different one so we do have two coyotes hit one of them is down right here the one that we were tracking is down right here and the other one should be not too far away because i think we hit him pretty good as well i don't really know if this is a male or a female though let's check oh my I didn't even realize this coyote was there where did this coyote even come from that's a 51 gold we just got him with buckshot and we got 1340 cash he scored 810 total he was a seven very hard coyote and we hit him at 21.8 meters right in the neck so this must have been the first one that we actually shot when he was looking at us we took him right in the neck and made a nice shot really awesome coyote He's going to be my second biggest one. And the first biggest one was that gold mythical. And now this is a gold seven very hard. So that's awesome. That is really awesome right there. I, I didn't even expect that to happen. Now we got to go track down the other one that we hit. And all right, well, I just found the other coyote that we were looking for. And he's right here. He doesn't seem to want to come in. Or at least he didn't seem to before. The other one is somewhere over here. I don't see him. Oh, there he is right there. All right, so it looks like he's actually coming in. So we're going to get ready with the buckshot again. And see if we can't make a nice shot. We still need to track down the other one that we have hit. I actually didn't see any more blood, but haven't really been looking too much either. Since we just saw these two coyotes out here now. Yeah, that's a five medium there. We already got the biggest one. I didn't even know that there was a giant seven very hard in the pack to begin with. Got him at 43 meters. I don't see why we couldn't take a shot on him. Well, it looked like we hit him pretty solid. I don't know if we had enough penetration to be able to get him or not. Oh, sweet. We just found the other coyote that we hit from before. I wasn't sure if he was actually going to go down. And apparently he was just to the left of that group because they were right there standing there. And I never even saw this one here. So let's pick this one up. It might actually be a female. Yeah, this is a female. Achievement unlocked side by side. So that's pretty cool. Well, we made a nice running uh, hip bone shot on, on her. We got 1,146 cash and 141 XP on that. Ooh, that's really good blood. That's really good blood. 50 meters and that's really good blood. That looks like uh, intestine hit. So that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at him. Although we weren't able to get a cool picture of the gold, at least we can get a cool picture of this one. Still gonna be a really cool coyote and the picture isn't gonna look too much different. So let's pick him up and see what he's gonna score wow we made a nice 43 meter shot that's all flesh I think this uh, front shoulder hit here did the most damage on him and maybe it dropped a little bit too much even though we were zeroed in for 50 so you can see it has a little bit of drop to it it drops uh, maybe about two or three inches at 50 meters so you want to hold maybe for the spine at 50 and we were holding right for the center of it but anyways, we got 1,231 cash and 184 XP. So pretty awesome way to end this hunt. I still can't believe we got that 51 gold coyote. That was so cool, the fact that he just appeared in this pack and I never even spotted him before. So I think that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.